good afternoon from uh, Panchkula. We're staying in Basanta Rentley, which is a defense day since there's two Fajis here. And now we're heading out to get some lunch and maybe a couple of drinks. Then come back, work on the bike. Yeah, that's the day. I know it's been a while since I posted the first part of the Sajoba rally. I was going through a very rough patch in my life, but things happen and things take time. I took my time, and here is Sajoba rally 2022, episode 2. Can you tell people what you're doing while doing it? Yeah, I'm a mechanic. So my fork was dripping some oil. So I removed the fork seal from here, cleaned it nice and now I am trying to put it back. This is the first time I've removed the fork seal. Not too much of a rocket science but yes, anything you do for the first time takes some effort. So I think it's pretty well set now and... So this was the only seal that was leaking? The right one is fine? Yeah, looks like I'm going to clean that also. But okay. Satyam sir, what are you doing on your bike? I found a mat for myself, this nut was quite stubborn. Uh -huh. So I just used WD. I'm removing this front mud guard, which I, till now I was using it on road. I need to take it out so that I can now use it better once we are off road. Yeah, because what happens is that sometimes slush can get stuck here yes. and uh, make it a pain for your tire to spin. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at applying stickers, but I'm good at applying stickers. Yes. Um, scrutiny is done. Bikes are all ready to go for the triple S. My edit is ready. Ah, thank you. So all the bikes are ready. They're uh, stickered up. And yeah. Triple S is gonna start soon. I am super excited. Sruni went off like pretty smooth. Sabki bike ho gaye. Garmi ho raha hai, to dhoop mein khade khade thoda sa tired feel ho raha hai. But uh, I mean, you know, it's part of the ride. So yeah, see you guys on the track. As the riders started to line up for the triple S stage, the adrenaline started going up. I was super excited to get going. I rode the Triple S a little bit too carefully, which ended up seeing me in the 30s out of the 50 some riders participating. I could have pushed. But I was recovering from a rib injury and the temperature was too high. So I decided to not. So how was it, Matt Joe? It was good. I did in my I put in everything, whatever I could, and yeah. Went off well, pretty happy with the result, with a kind of drum break in the rear. I think it's not bad at all. And such a short stage with the time difference between the first and second is seconds, one second, two seconds like that. So Sir, how was yours? Yeah, as a first timer, I think it was such a thrilling experience. And the fact being that uh, the charged people, when you get that uh, on the start, hmm. when everybody gives that rev, it, it charges you up so well. And uh, yeah, I, was sure. hai, it's easy yeah, I was thinking that I'll go easy, but I think that wasn't easy. As <laughs> for me, I think... Uh, I'll tell you about you. 
So you have done well and I have seen you growing from strength to strength and I am very happy. And I am just waiting for the day that you overtake me and I then get into the vehicle back seat. And I start, be I become a scrutineer. <laughs> and start screwing you as a screw, scrutineer. <laughs> The spirits were high on the second day of the rally. The day began with laughs and chuckles. But all of that changed soon enough. What's happening with stage one? Stage one, we heard it got cancelled. villagers so we're supposed to start our stage now but we still haven't the cars are there the cars are lined up but uh, yeah it's just so fucking weird because we're just standing here not doing anything rally ho hi nahi rahi hai matlab hum khade ho hain kind of weird ek stage hat gaya pata nahi ye stage bhi kya hoga pata nahi no idea. after almost 3 hours of not racing one stage and standing around waiting for the other to start the rally finally looked like it was going to begin so the rally stage is finally starting after so many hours so we are ready excited abhi time hai abhi there's a lot of bikers who are starting This stage went really well for me for the first half. In the second half, I slowed down significantly from a top speed of 112 to 78, 80, all thanks to my tinted goggles and the extreme contrast by the shadows of the tree. This lack of clarity made it seem like a shadow could be camouflaging a bump or a ditch. At the end of the stage, I'd considerably slowed down comparing to how hot I began that stage. So I'm at the start of the second SS of the day. We're starting? Sir, it's called Sumba. Okay. There's been some issue at the track. It's paused. Uh, the first SS, I did well half. And half, I couldn't do well because it was too shady. And I couldn't see it much. So I was just like, it was better to be careful, I guess, at that point. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I have to make time. Also, I haven't slept. 
and I'm somebody who needs sleep, so. After another delay, the rally started to finally find its rhythm, but I was struggling to find mine. After not having slept well, recovering from an injury, I was not feeling as comfortable on the bike. I did finish the stages. My fitness and endurance training helped me a lot, but my brain was scattered. I kept losing focus and the voices in my head were louder than usual. This saw my decision making to be significantly slower than normal making me choose wrong lines and break poorly. The last stage of the day featured a very tough 16km riverbed. Everyone struggled here, from factory riders to first timers. I was cursing myself for being slow, for if I had ridden a little bit faster, I wouldn't find myself in the middle of three riders struggling on this climb. Good evening. So we've reached Gaj and uh, I didn't ride well. The reason for that is that uh, I did not have my focus. My body was great. My body handled everything like a champ. But you know, like my mind was just like wandering. So I'm glad that I'll record later. Hi, so... <clears throat> Good night, guys. Time to sleep. How was your day? <clears throat> day was good. Not bad. Yeah, so... Today was the first day of the rally. And the second event day or whatever. Or the second rally. Just, let's just call it that. Easier that way. Um, huh. I rode well. Uh, the first stage I rode well, but I started to see like a lot of mental fatigue and brain fog um, create like a problem in my decision making. So I wasn't able to think quicker, which made me slower on the bike. I did go very fast. Like I've pushed my bike on the Odo to like 112, which is the fastest that I've ever gone. But then after that, my, my scale went like that. Like it went super high and then super low, just like that. It wasn't consistent and in a rally, you should ideally be consistent. So I think it's because of lack of rest and uh, I haven't got a break in like even a day. So I'm hope, like it's saying 9.30, 10 right now, planning on sleeping and waking up early, hopefully fresh and uh, do well tomorrow. You know, obviously the time that I've lost to it today, I can't make up um, tomorrow. But uh, I want to do better for myself and I think I'll be able to. All right. See you. I was very frustrated with how I rode and I spoke to every rider I respect to gauge how they maintain a focus when they're racing. For almost everyone, this wasn't an issue. Hero rider Yuva Kumar said, find a rhythm. Santosh Vishnoi asked me to focus on having fun, being happy. FMSCI's very own Mickey Reen asked me to focus on my breathing. My father and Mehek 
both asked me to spend some time meditating before I start the race. It felt very good to know that people care and that made me want to push more on day 3. And I did push more. I still lost my focus every now and then but I kept talking to myself in the helmet to keep myself tethered. On this stage, we saw another delay of 30 minutes due to a crash the very talented Santosh Vishnoi had. The crash saw him crack his kneecap. It was severe. On the same stretch, at the speed of 90-95, I crashed due to his fallen bike that ideally should have been parked upright after the riders been evacuated. No major damage happened to me. The bike's front forks were slightly bent though. Oh, and now you have a weird camera angle, so enjoy. I continued chasing riders and almost killing myself here. Thank you hero, your brakes are insane. I deployed all the feedback I got. I stuck to lines the best I could, tried to find my rhythm, I made myself realize that I am lucky to be able to do this and I should have fun. I calibrated my breathing, I took the 45 second countdown before every stage to meditate and most importantly, I slept for more than 5 hours the night before this. So I'm using my phone as a GPS unit, which is why बहुत बढ़िया। कहीं खोई तो नहीं? कहीं खोई तो नहीं थे? So stage two of day two happened. Day three happened right now. I did well. I had one crash. Nothing major. It was scary though because I was heading into the fence. Like I was like, what? Switch on the right hand, bike side, the 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 bike side, the
last stage of the day saw me going very fast and only losing my way twice. <laughs> I was feeling very grateful for this life I live and the support I've gotten from my family, friends and sponsors. Thank you, Elavath Holdings, for your rock solid backing. You folks made things so much easier for me and I can't wait to give you guys a reason to be super proud of me. Thank you Phoenix Moto for the brilliant ram mount. I could put my faith in this product and forget about losing my camera. I did put 6 zip ties on it just in case. Thank you BMC India for your air filter. That single unit changed Kisuma's performance tremendously. Thank you Barajness for the brilliant graphic kit. Thank you Garage 08 for your products and your lovely support. 14, 48, 53. CIB. CIB, day 2, leg 2, stage 5, sun's cancelled. Straight to garage, 40 minutes. Uh, Ali, checking it out. Okay, thanks. 48. 53. So the Sajobar Rally 2022 has finally come to an end. We are to the retreat. Uh, the last stage was cancelled because of timing issues. There were a lot of delays today. A lot of just standing and waiting around. Which meant that if we did go into the last stage, it would end after like sunset and they don't want to do that so yeah one stage cut from yesterday one stage cut from today two stages in total cut and uh, yeah now we're gonna have some lunch because i'm very hungry and go back to school which is st john's see you Oh, you made a vlog with that. Cheers, Jayesh, you've done a great job. And um, Satyam, in fact, his first rally, and you've done amazing here. Cheers to that. Shadows up to this, and you cheers, and you cheers. I'll talk about your experience. Baba, how was it for you? Very good, yeah. I was sitting there, 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 I was sitting Rally was one of the best experiences. If you ask me, it was the most intense adrenaline, adrenaline rush I've ever faced. And I think I will continue. I do have one more thing to say. So I'll pass it over to current day J-Man. Hi, before you go off this video, I just want to talk about something that's very, very important. And I found uh, to be a problem for a very long time. The first thing is that after Sajoba got over, I was invited to the Red Bull Ace of Dirt. I feel like people were not happy. Uh, I would have liked at least my people to be happy. I know I'm not the best rider in the world, but like I got invited for a particular reason. There must have been a certain drive or something that people saw. I mean, it is an invitational event. Only 60 riders from all over the country are invited and I was one of them, so I was naturally ecstatic and I shared that with people but I came to realize that not everybody was happy. Yeah, which sucked. So the least that you can do is probably be happy with people that you consider to be your friends and if not then uh, just don't react, you know. Don't say that you're happy on the face and then say something else on the like when the person turns their back. Um, anyway, what I want to talk to you about is not like petty things like this. I want to talk to you guys about depression. So after Sajoba and uh, my not so great performance in Sajoba, uh, I was invited to the Ace of Dirt. I cracked my rib in the trial run of the Ace of Dirt, um, which sucked because even before the, the, the competition began, my participation in it was over. So that sucked. But after two consecutive poor performances, I found myself sort of going straight down this rabbit hole of extreme depression. Not because I was going to win or get like multiple trophies home, but because I let myself down, you know. Uh, I also let my sponsors down and 
it was just overall a bad feeling then add with that this new dynamic this new thing that i found about people that i called my friends that didn't help either uh after that work took a hit like i wasn't getting projects i wasn't doing uh as well as i would on other months so you know things started like sort of barreling into one another was snowball effect hota hai na ek chhota sa start hota hai fir wo sab ghum ghum ke ghum ghum ke bada hota hai it was like that um i was at a very low place in my life i uh, legitimately wanted to you know not exist that's the best way i can put it um but slowly things panned out uh my girlfriend my family my friends were by my side throughout and they really just kept my hopes up you know that everything that you're doing is great one of the th- one of the best things that was told to be uh, told to me by my friends is that jayesh you do so many things and you try to excel at them you're not going to be great at everything but just the fact that you do things creates like you're an inspiration essentially i hate saying that because it makes you sound like you guys look at me i'm an inspiration to somebody i don't want to be an inspiration to someone but it was just something that resonated with me a lot because i am a very skilled artist i'm good at what i do i race motorcycles also i support my family at like th- at this age and as in my career that's very very rare that you're able to do that so there's already a lot of responsibility on me and this feeling of failure does not sit right being depressed is a completely natural thing you can be depressed uh, be it like a boring job be it an exciting job be it an exciting life or be it a slightly average life there's no you, you sh- like what i was doing wrong was that i was trying to think of it like oh i am living a great life i am doing so well why am i depressed there's no why you're depressed you're depressed if you're depressed then please seek help matlab us depression ke talab mein baitho mat tum bas matlab wahi pe baith ke you're like main aisa hu main waisa hu i can't do this i can't do that it's better to get help there are great therapists who will help you talk to your friends tell them how you feel apna share karo meko oh rally se pehle somebody even said somebody that i had high regard for at one point said uh, jayesh tu jitne time se ride kar raha hai teri riding utni improve nahi hui hai and that sucked that pinched me so much i was like man what the fuck but that's not true because i see my progress i see myself grow and i have grown i have exhibited good progress and i'm happy and i'm proud of what i have been able to do i'm in a very good place now i'm glad that i'm in a very good place and this whole depressive era was the reason why i uploaded this video so late i just couldn't get myself to watch the sajoba rally because i was just like i didn't do well but that's the thing life is all ups and downs if it's all up then that's no life so just that i mean if you're somebody who is not happy or jealous that i got invited to the esodot i'm sorry if it were up to me i would have invited all of you and that's the kind of person i am i'm not somebody who has animosity towards somebody else i always want my friends and my associates to grow regardless of what i think because mai the sochta bhi nahi ki like i am better or worse than somebody i think of us as a unit and when you start bringing these comparisons ki isko kyu bulaya isko to ye bhi nahi aata isko to wo bhi nahi aata that is just so foreign to me because i thought i made better choices and i made better friends and i did make better friends the friends that guided me throughout this whole depressive episode they were great and the people that i ride with barely any of them even asked like how my broken rib is or how i'm feeling and that sucks because i consider my them my friends if you're somebody who's depressed please seek help there's no shame in getting the help that you deserve and you need and um, just 
ट्रस्ट योर सेल्फ ट्रस्ट द प्रोसेस तुम जिनके साथ चलाते हो दे कुड बी फास्ट और तुम जिनके साथ काम कर करते हो वो बेटर हो सकते हैं बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट यू आर लाइक यूर नथिंग यू आर समबडी यू एग्जिस्ट फॉर अ रीजन एंड कीप रिमाइंडिंग योर सेल्फ दैट दैट यू एग्जिस्ट फॉर अ रीजन आई गॉर अ कूल न्यू टैटू आई वेरी हैप्पी विद दिस गॉर अ नोज पियर्सिंग वेरी हैप्पी विद दैट कान वेट टू फॉर पीपल टू टेक अ डबल लुक एट मी again i had i removed my piercing and i think 2018 that is back so yeah thanks for watching this video if you liked it make sure you hit that like button don't hit it just click on it don't people always like hit that like button and if you want to watch more of these videos at the ridiculous frequency that i wrote the map do consider subscribing and uh, let me know in your in the comments below what you thought of this video thanks i'll see you bye